Wife Ellen just had their third child. Yeah. They had uh, Cooper Ellis Kershaw born just a couple weeks ago, so congratulations to the Kershaw family. But Clayton did want to send you guys this message. Hey, Dodger fans. Sorry I can't be there this week at Fan Fest, but I know it's going to be a great time. And, um, you know, right now I'm a little bit busy, as you can see, learning how to be a dad of three. But uh, excited to get going again, and we'll see you all in spring training. Have fun. Texas native. How about you? A big, a big. Uh, we're, uh, working to get ready for uh, spring training. You know, dissect uh, last year what I could work on. Um, been working out in the mornings, um, doing some hitting stuff. So it's good to uh, it's good to get back out there and uh, start doing some baseball activities. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's just only Corey Seager. Don't worry about it, guys. Oh. Some people think he's dreamy. I don't know. We're going to find out in a little bit when Corey comes up here. But, John, you were talking about how when you step in there being aggressive and 95% of the time, it's going to be a fastball. This guy knows a little something, too, about stepping into the box and being ready. How much has your approach for both you, Jock, and AJ, approach perhaps changed over the course of your career to maybe step into the box with a two-strike approach or just being ready to swing at, at whatever? Uh, uh... We're, uh, working to get ready for uh, spring training, you know, dissect uh, last year what I could work on. Um, been working out in the mornings, um, doing some hitting stuff, so it's good to, uh, it's good to get back out there and uh, start doing some baseball activities. Yeah, don't worry about it, it's just only Corey Seager, don't worry about it, guys. Some people think he's dreamy, I don't know. We're going to find out in a little bit when Corey comes up here, but John, you were talking about how when you step in there being aggressive and 95% of the time, it's going to be a fastball. This guy knows a little something too about stepping into the box and being ready. How much has your approach for both you, Jock, and AJ, approach perhaps changed over the course of your career to maybe step into the box with a two-strike approach or just being ready to swing at, at whatever? Same for Colorado, you know, so San Diego, you guys, you travel well. We get to play in front of 50,000 every night, and those guys don't, when we don't play the Diamondbacks, I don't know how many people go to the game, so. <laughs> uh, we're really lucky, and, yeah, yeah, I think you know. When we were in Boston this year, I remember walking the street with my wife, trying to go to breakfast, and I'm just like, what? Why are there so many Dodger fans everywhere? Like, it is fans. It's like, it's incredible. Like, you guys travel so well. I mean, that's all the way across the East Coast. And, um, you know, I think we probably, it was a 50 50 split there, you know, against, you know, the you know, World Series champs. So that's. I, I thought that was pretty cool. You brought it on yourself. <laughs> Whoops. Alana, ask another question. Hurry up. Uh, why ask is there a question. star? <laughs> because we're hosting the All-Star Game. Oh. How cool is it to be able to uh, show the world how amazing Dodger Stadium is yeah. and how amazing these fans are. So July 20th, uh, the All-Star Game and all of the eyes in Major League Baseball are going to be right here in Los Angeles. On us, on you guys, uh, and of course we're going to have our own All-Stars. Hopefully uh, many as we've done the last, last few years. So. You know what that's like, don't you, Jock? Uh, another question? Are you going to do the home run derby? We'll see, we'll see. We have a, we got a lot of good hitters. I'm sure we will be well represented for that, so it'll be fun. Now, but now we have Mr. Whittier on stage with us. He's only a multi-time batting champion, maybe one of the best hitters of his generation and definitely should be considered for Cooperstown and that is for sure. Nomar Garcia Parra. Nomar, great to have you up here. Look at that. Yeah. People love you. You know what's funny, David? You actually, you say like, oh, he was a good hitter. You, you say it like you're surprised though. Thanks a lot. I yeah. appreciate that. There's like surprise in his voice. Did you guys hear it or am I the only one? Yeah, thank you. See? We, we get much better tables at restaurants when he uses Garcia Parra instead of Mr. Whittier. <laughs> Actually, we get a better table when I go Mr. Ham than I say Garcia Parra. Yeah, so. me and Ham, that's right. <laughs> that's true, that's true. All right, well, I know a guy that never has to pay for a meal in Los Angeles. 
He's burst onto the scene in Los Angeles, hitting 35 home runs in each of his first two seasons with the Dodgers. And this year, the first bobblehead will be his. Max wow. Munsty is coming up on the stage. between us for good reason. Muncie wants nothing to uh, do with me. This is far enough, right, Muncie? Yeah, you stay right there. Man. Usually we have a roll 20 feet, right, Muncie? We keep yeah. 20 feet away? Yeah, you're a little close. All right, sorry. sorry Some days you're going to say, get Vasse out of the ocean. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm in a WWE match right now, like a cage match. Got to separate each other, right? That's all right. He's okay right now. He's okay. Don't rile him up. Don't rile him we up. Like Bump armor style. Like fun. If I start talking trash, right, Muncie, then you might go uh, bum garner on me, right? Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. What do you think about the new uh, bobblehead right here? First bobblehead of the sweet. season, Max Muncie. Yeah, I just saw Very it. Very cool. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Hopefully you guys are, too. You got a... Uh... You got really emotional last year. Fest, you got I'm, pretty for Fan Fest. I got, yeah. <laughs> fresh cut for Fan Fest. Okay. Yeah. Um, so... We were talking with Gavin, Oral and I were talking before he came up here and trying to decide, do you guys like the size 46 jersey or should he move up to size 50? To which I said, no, dude. Like, you know, he wants to show the guns good. off, uh, right? So girls, girls aren't saying anything. <laughs> Right? Well, 46 or 50? Oh. Yeah. They like 46. 46. They like the hair Smaller better than the arms. Yeah. Smaller the better. 42? So, I'm not <laughs> size it down. Size it down. Yeah. Trying to swing and the <laughs> shirt's too tight. Did you pay for the holes in the knees or is those extra or what? Yeah. It's in my generation, oral. those would not be yeah. good pants. Yeah. Yeah. In our generation, the coochie would not be a good sweater. <laughs> wow. It keeps you warm. It does. It's, Kevin doesn't even know what a coochie one. is. I'll show you this time. He thinks it's a thing that keeps like your hot chocolate warm, I think. Hey, you look good right here. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's looking at that yeah. no, there, there is product in that it's a picture. Good smile. That, thank you. Appreciate yeah, that's a good that. Smile. That got me into broadcasting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gavin, what do you remember most about your major league debut? These two were in the booth. They were uh, calling it. I'm sure your yeah. parents replay that throughout the day, throughout yeah. the year. <laughs> so, what was it like for you it, when you look back at that major league debut at Dodger Stadium? Yeah, uh, definitely very surreal. Um, you know, you work hard for that, and I think the the craziest part looking back was just seeing my family after the game and seeing their 